Hello, GPT format is a function that will let you format your data properly, very easily. So let me show you. GPT format, I type this, then I, I include the input here, uh, and I say I want it in ISO date format. And there we go, I get a date. I can drag this down now. And as you can see, I got the date of in the same format of every input here. Uh, works really well. As you can see, all these formats are very different and yet it, everything worked fine here. Um, and also what's important to note is, although these were text objects, uh, you can see it's left aligned. Uh, the, the output here is our real data objects and they are right aligned. And you can verify this by going to the format menu of Google Sheets and then format it uh, differently. For example, let's say that you want it uh, this way, this format here, and boom, it works. So that's really powerful. Okay, let's see another example now. Uh, case. Case can be very painful. So uh, GPT again makes this super easy. So I will do GPT format and I, the input will be this here, powered by the ChatGPT model, GPT 3.5 Turbo. This is a sentence that I wanna format properly uh, with good casing. And so I will then include the uh, format I want here, it's title case. Let's see what it outputs. Okay, so I did get a good title case here. Uh, powered has been catalyzed, model as well, but um, the, the small words here were not, so that's that's great. Um, okay, let's drag the formula down. For this, I will need to uh, add a dollar here so that uh, the input uh, st stays frozen vertically, and then I will drag this down. Okay, so sentence case, only the first word uh, got capitalized, that's great. Um, then lowercase, everything is lowercase. Uppercase, everything is uppercase. Camel case, snake case, kebab case, URL encoded, uh, even base 64 encoded works. So yeah, I mean, we, here we've, we've left the case world, but as you can see, that's really powerful. Um, so get your cases together with this, this function. Okay, next example. Uh, currency amounts. These are another example of uh, data that can be quite painful to manipulate. So here, as you can see, I have a bunch of currency amounts, uh, not very readable and not standardized. So I'm going to uh, format them all into uh, a more standard format. So uh, let's say ISO currency. And so we, there we go, I get the currency code and it's three letter code with the amount as a uh, proper number. And I drag this down. And as you can see, it worked for all of those, like even the Indian amount here, which uh, has quite a particular, particular uh, formatting, got converted to a uh, uh, standard format here. So works great. And it, even like this sentence got formatted properly. Uh, okay, let's continue. Phone numbers. These can be painful too. So I want to convert all of those into uh, international phone numbers. So that's what I'll do. And there we go. Okay, great. Uh, so it seems like it all worked. Um, it all works properly. So as you can see, even if the format is very dirty or even like if the, the country code is actually indicated by a country, it will it will manage to solve it uh, automatically. So that works out great. Okay, now let's do company names. Company names. And let's remove the legal entities. So. Uh, the input will be this, and then I will do um, company name without legal entity suffix. And 
I drag this down. And they're almost all done. I'm not sure why this one is still loading. Um, but as you can see, all of them are correct. And this one, I don't know. I'm just gonna retry it. Okay. Okay, there we go, it works. Great, uh, so if you have lists of companies in your spreadsheets, then you can clean them up this way very easily. Uh, okay, and I think that's it. So that's GPT formats. Um, as always, uh, please do not hesitate to comment under the video to tell me what works and what doesn't work. It helps us improve the product. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to be notified when we publish a new video. Thank you very much for watching.